The hardest thing for people who don't work with creativity is when you try to explain someone, this is, looks like this, and they're like, oh, really? And you see the person is not understanding anything. This is one of my favorite parts, and where a lot of the learning happens. When people see what we do, and I show the murals, and how many people are involved, they're like, I just can't wrap my mind around, like, how do you get 30 people to create a drawing that makes sense together when there's different skill levels, different styles, different sensibilities? In our world, we can have the conversation you kind of can grasp because we're all operating, which I call from this creative chaos universe, right? There isn't a formula of exactly how to do it. It's different every time. I think it's awesome that you guys are gonna do our building, so thank you. Um, I think just driving down the street, even if they're in a patrol car, being brought in because they've been arrested or little kids going to the school next door or whatever, it's gonna make such a change in our community, in the, on Cater Avenue, like in our area. And that's something that we definitely want to convey to the kids and uh, to have them understand that there is a life outside of the internet and if they put down the phone and just not let those kind of pressures get to them, then maybe we would also see a deterrent as far as the amount of trouble that they end up getting into and the bad decisions that they make. Because there's a lot of peer pressure that we notice that they go through. We try to restore juveniles back to the community, right? And not just lock kids up and put them away. That's not our goal. Our goal is to permit our youth from going to youth health or going to jail, right? Now I'm not saying that they're not going to make mistakes, but we try to say to them, it's not over, it's one well mistake, that you say, and where you are right now doesn't dictate where you can be, right? I want that kid who comes through that door, who's worried about peer pressure, right? Who's saying, you know what, like they don't understand because they don't live, or they, they're not experiencing the things that I, I, what I'm going through. I want them to understand, we've been there, right? We've been there, each and every one of us made mistakes, right? But if I say that to them, they may not get it. But if you put it in your words, right? You're their pets. If you put it in your words, they may get it. Okay, guys, we're here now, huh? Yeah. We're almost done with this. I think we have like three amazing artists assisting this year. You guys really earn your position. I mean, absolutely. If this might be the first year we've had people who've really gone through the program, three of you who've known the ins and outs and seen different you know, ways the process can go and different ways we've handled creative problem solving, plus your own artistic sensibilities, which are really strong and help guide the groups. And it's really nice to see that. And Let's begin here. We have the three sections, how we uh, broke down our project. So um, let's begin with struggle. My group in struggles have taken all of the elements that they could think of that would be appropriate to be on the wall for struggles and created this very unique and distinct sketch. It's coming out amazing. They really put out the time and the effort to make sure everything is done correctly and, and everything transition and flows into our second wall, transformation. My team has the job of making a logo for the Bureau Center and we have to implement a lot of movement elements to really make all the pieces come together. And I think my team did a wonderful job at taking that at hand and making everything make sense and drive the story of the character going through struggles to, to transform into like a much better person and learn about their mistakes. There's a lot of colorful elements with our very orange, yellows, and more symphony color scheme. And I think my team is doing a really good job at 
transmitting that message of somebody's going through change. Absolutely. And then now we all are asking hope. Hope. I'm hopeful that we would do a great job. Um, for help, we kind of, we created a narrative around this quote, which is called Visit Promise, because the way we see the story of struggle, transformation, and hope, we see it as a circle. It's just continuous through all aspects of life. So by depicting that through a storyline of a hand guiding a person on a raft, and we're using a lot of blue, a blue and green color palette, and they've been doing amazing. We are almost done with this. I think we have done a great job so far and our last step is gonna be Monday and then we can go over how we wanna tackle the wall. We are here to help and find find a solution for everyone to get any hope again. I think it's definitely like a visual representation of what people are feeling inside and how they may be alone, but we're showing them that they're not alone. So I just feel like it gives a sense of like encouragement to people and it makes them feel like happier and brighter in the dull area. But it gives people a reflection and it gives a way for people to tackle a challenge that they struggle with. There's two schools here and the kids are going to be seeing this and also there's going to be kids who are coming here for to be processed for juvenile detention and when they see this especially this side of the building this is the hope side so it might give them some sort of like hope for the future especially like while we're working on this um, there's a day camp that comes out here every day and they've seen our work our work in progress and they're like oh what are you doing this is amazing and they're really interested in our work and they can see themselves in this mural like we have a, a giant figure of a child they can connect with it it seems to be making a lot of people happy especially kids which is kind of like our target audience, like the younger people, and the way they're reacting to how we're working, what we're doing, like it really shows that this mural is really something. Yeah, I would even say like the mural is also for the people who are like coming in and out of this building and um, and I don't know what effect it will have on them, but I just hope that it is positive or like something that makes them think of um, more than this. Honestly, when it comes to what the wall is gonna do, I feel like the wall instills something in a community. Like when you see them cross by in the car, they seem super excited. And like, I'm from this community, I go to school, I went to school in Infinity. And like, you know, it feels like a bummer not to really have anything here, but at least the wall is something. It's like something for them. It's their own personal thing. And it really just instills hope. It instills like different values that they've always wanted. It shows that the city actually cares for the community and doesn't just think that we're another part of Jersey. Along with that, I think um, when you mentioned the cars passing by, like people have been like, oh, what you guys doing? And they're really excited to see the wall. I think it's just, it instills encouragement to the entire community. Because also I'm from around here and I'm just so happy that this, there's so many colors on this wall. It's just very encouraging. Personally, having like known people who have been into Juvie and who have like experienced that, I think that one of the biggest things that we're doing for them is creating sort of like a more comfortable environment, sort of like a, a safer environment, some place where you can sit there and really like think about your actions or think about things. And just some place that doesn't feel so like purgatory, so locked in. And I think that that's really important to know that there's always more. And right there is a dead end. And sometimes we feel like that. I mean, it's human nature for us to go through, you know, hard times. But that one way arrow, it, it actually stands out because it's up from here, one way, up, and it's very bright. And to me, that like represents hope. This could be a place where we could actually encourage them that you could always go up no matter, you know, the circumstances. I love it. I love how it started dark, got bright, and now we're into all these colors. It's almost like we're underwater. Yes. Beautiful. This is amazing. Yes. And thank you guys so much for making our building look so incredible and giving us, you know, the people in the community something to look at, at that's inspiring, you know? So if you look at this and it says one way, turn around. And that's one of the things that we try to, message that we try to send. 
Everybody make mistakes. All of us make mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. However, those mistakes don't define the rest of our lives. It doesn't have to, you know? So this is a good place to turn around. And that's the message that we're trying to send. Well, you know, we've had kids come in here and say, my life is over. And we say, no, no, not at all. This is just a place where you have to realize that it's time for a change. And I believe that this is gonna illustrate that or take that point home, not only to the people that come through here, but the people outside the community. Just like, tell me a little bit about the uh, mural here. Well, the kids came together over the course of several weeks in the summer, and they worked with our professional artists to come up with a cohesive concept and design for this building. Uh, the goal was to really make a space that told a story, but was also welcoming for yeah. the use. Um, purposes and to really brighten up the neighborhood and to be able to draw together all of the students different styles into one big and story. How long does something like this take? It took all summer. All summer and then I think Judah was saying that it's uh, struggle and hope and transformation like some a progression of some sort right? Exactly so you start here with the darkness and yeah. you know we have we have some sense of feeling lost in the world and maybe yeah. there's some bad decisions that have been made, some struggles um, that the youth are going through. And then as we move through this progression, yes. you can see the, the color transition to more of a lighter sure. palette, more yep. hope coming into the yep. story. Yep. And then we still hear, you know, it's very uh, sort of a realistic expression of the challenges, the thorns coming up out of the city, because, you know, these are real struggles that our young people are facing and, you know, Every day they have to navigate this complex world. It's really nice, really good. Did a terrific job. You can see the figure on the raft reaching through the chaotic waters. Yeah, it's a nice job. Hand. So I see hope, more color, brighter. It looks great. These students did an amazing job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, still How are you? I think this could be the best one yet. I praise. The other ones are very, very good, but this is really, really terrific. Really, really outstanding.